Hello, my name is Martin Bissig. I'm an outdoor and action photographer based in Switzerland. Currently, I'm in Chile. I am right now on 6,400 meters above sea level. I'm joining four athletes, mountain bikers that want to climb the volcano called Yuya Yako. Let's go back a few days to where this adventure started, in Santiago de Chile. After hitting the ground on the 6th of November and exploring the city, we pack our stuff and headed up north to the Atacama Desert. But before leaving sea level, we decided on the last test of the gear. After more than 20 hours of driving over the past two days, we reach our next stop, San Pedro de Atacama. Here at roughly 2,500 meters above sea level, we stay a couple of days preparing and getting used to even higher altitudes by hiking up to 4,700 meters. Acclimatizing is necessary for the body to get used to the little oxygen and pressure up there. If not done right, you're in bad trouble. I'm on the way back now from the first day of acclimatizing. In the back you see the little peak, well, it's more kind of a hill, that I reached together with Gerhard, another athlete, uh, 4,700 meters above sea level, without any issues, no headache, nothing. So I'm very confident for the upcoming days. So the next step for us is going to be sleep on 4,200 meters. And then we finally reach our base camp at the foot of the volcano at 4,800 meters. Again, we will spend a couple of days further acclimatizing by going up and down to our high camp at 5,400 meters above sea level, while carrying equipment and provisions up there. But first, let's talk about my gear. Well, on an expedition like this, there are a couple of challenges we are facing. First, it's the athletes and me. It's a physical challenge. We actually need to make it up to that mountain up there to 6,700 meters above sea level. And the other one is the technical challenge we are facing. So I have decided to go completely mirrorless this time. It has a couple of reasons. The first reason is the size of the bodies. And the second reason is I bring three different bodies that I do not have to change the lenses on the bodies while I'm up there wearing gloves, dusty environment, um, etc. So what I'm having here with me, um, I'm having this Canon M50 that I'm actually strapped on my backpack like this. It's got an uh, 18 to 150 millimeter lens, so it's quite a, a wide range uh, for this one. Um, I've got my main camera, which is the new Canon EOS R with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens. So this is my main camera. I try to take most of the pictures with this camera compared to the other ones. This one obviously has a full frame sensor and has superior image quality over the other cameras. And then what's missing is wide angle. I love to take wide angle shots. However, the wide angle lenses, the good ones, are pretty heavy and bulky. And as I said, I don't want to change the lenses. So this is why I brought this little camera here. It's the Canon EOS M6 with an 11 to 22 millimeters. As you can see, it's very small, it's very lightweight. This is the most important thing for me. I have to go very light. I Everything has to be accessible. The following days, we prepare our camp and get used to even higher altitudes. Mm -hmm. 
and after six days we feel ready to go for it. We slept one night here at the lower high camp, which was 5,300. I was doing fine, but my friend Gerhard, uh, he had a very tough night. He was sleeping for about two hours, he had to uh, puke all his dinner and uh, he didn't feel well, so he decided to unfortunately abort the whole expedition while I'm heading up with the other athletes. So there are the three cyclists left, so let's hope that they're feeling fine. We've planned to sleep up there at 5,600 tonight while sleeping. It'll be more like a rest for two or three hours before we're actually going to the summit around midnight. I get asked quite a lot how I uh, uh, operate a camera in these conditions so um, I've got these very special gloves actually it's two separate gloves as you can see there's a zipper in front stick my fingers out there's even this little silver thing that works with the touch screen and I can operate my camera even if I want I could put my thumb out uh, when I'm not using the glove I can actually close it in front with the zipper. When I look at the back, you see there's also another zipper so you can put these little heat bags in, shake them, they're warm. So that keeps my fingers warm. Otherwise, there would be no chance that I can operate a camera in these temperatures. Ooh. Oh, here we are, eight hours in. We started half past midnight. Um, right now, we're on roughly 6,400 meters above sea level. There's still 300 meters, uh, vertical meters lying ahead of us. And I must say, I'm extremely happy about the performance of my Canon cameras. It's extremely cold and windy and I didn't have any problems operating the camera. Also the display and everything was working smoothly so it's great to know that these cameras, especially the Canon EOS R that I'm using as my main camera, are working very well in these harsh conditions. minutes for the deadline. Seriously, I didn't expect to make it and honestly I didn't know where the other guys are. We set the deadline to two o'clock and I knew that it's going to be tight so I thought to just go ahead just in case they make it but <coughs> no one's around so yeah let's see. If they stretch the deadline or not. Um, yeah, I'm just glad to be up here. An awesome view. What a sense of achievement to summit Mount Yuya Yako with such a great team. The journey in itself is always a reward, and with little expectation for Chile would offer as a country or for my new photographic gear, I was pleasantly surprised on both accounts, and I return home to Switzerland with many amazing memories, new friends, and a ton of great pictures.